So there's like Mr. Beast contestants that keep taking advantage of the height. Like uh, this guy, Alex Esteban, has been like making videos based off of the grocery store thing for a long time. There's also the other guy, um, like Bailey and Susie, I think, on Mr. Beast. And they did, have been taking advantage of it as well. And like, I understand why they're doing it and why they're, they literally mention Mr. Beast in like every single video they've had recently or in each other, except this one. And I mean, we can kind of see how that went. I mean, if they mention Mr. Beast, it's an automatic 700, 200 K, which is even adding more to their winnings. But like this guy recently made a video of I'm running out of money. So I, like, what if he's just like literally just slandering Mr. Beast for five minutes? So I wanted to watch it. Hey guys, I just wanted to get on here and uh, I have to tell you something. The goofy music in the background already explains that it's just like him trying to be uh, like crazy and goofy with it. So it's definitely not something for real. It's just the like him doing another video capitalizing on it. Hey, what are you doing? Uh, I was, I gotta tell them something. <laughs> uh, actually, can you help me do this? Uh, marker. The funny thing is, is we definitely know that that was staged. I hate when I see this stuff like this, because I know it was so awkward for him to film that. Like that little skit was probably the most awkward thing in the world because he has to act like he actually got caught in the middle of something. There's no shot he got caught in the middle of that with a camera set up perfectly on his friend. Ah, YouTube's hard. Being a YouTuber's hard. That's why it's harder than your nine to five. What? Crap. <laughs> What's your name? Where are you from? And what do you do? My name is Alex. I am 30 years old. I actually turned 32 days out of the grocery Dude, he doesn't look a day over 30. For sure. And I live in Nashville, Tennessee, raised and not born, born in Costa Rica. What I do for Just a living Just list his whole right address now right now. I'm actually unemployed currently. Obviously, you were in the Mr. Beast video and you've been making content center to that. Now that the milk has run dry, what's next? Well, now that the milk has run dry. That is a crazy way of saying that get, literally gifting you 57 almost 60,000 subscribers plus 3 million views then 14k then 26k then 1.3 then 70k then 18k the milk is not running dry bro stole the milk and ran out now that i can no longer milk mr beast i will be going and working on a dairy farm that is also a crazy thing to say is milking Mr. Beast. You're going to milk Mr. Beast. Man, I'd love to milk Mr. Beast. To milk calves. No, great question. So that it brings me to why I'm here today. And that is to explain to you guys what this channel is going to be all about for now. Could change. I have ADHD, so who knows what's going to go on here, which is why I put out a poll to you guys asking you, would you like to see business, real estate, finance related content or more entertainment style content? That is so here's the thing about Mr. Beast. There's a whole video essays out there on how Mr. Beast shout outs will ruin your channel. If he switched right here, this channel that has been uploading challenge type videos where he just talks about winning money and he just talks about doing like thumbnails like these and doing stuff with Mr. Beast and switched it to finance, he would get no views because no one cares about finance that came to you, watch you from Mr. Beast. That most of them are 10 years old. I wish that I could tell this guy right now that if he switches his niche, he will fail and he will lose all of this that he's already built up but it just it just sucks and he might have to learn the hard way it is high pace very retention driven or would you like to see a combination? oh all good done and right now the polls are saying that they want business real estate or a combination of both those are the highest picked categories right now i want to do both i want to entertain you guys but i also that's just not gonna happen what are his votes actually looking like it says he hasn't done anything. Does he have like a... Did he, he probably did it on his Instagram. 
I think I have ADHD is also a wild claim. But I, he must have done it on his Instagram, which is going to be a vastly different audience than his YouTube audience. I also want to give you value anytime you come to this channel. The channels and the creators I love the most are the ones that after I click off their videos, I feel better about myself. I feel motivated. I want to go and do something myself. Is that how you guys feel after clicking off my streams? Y'all feel motivated to do something yourself? Hopefully I give off that vibe. I try to be motivational and be cool, but uh, do I motivate you guys? We'll see you in chat in a business a business day. Kinda, yes. Okay, I got two answers, I guess. You feel happy? Okay, that's good, that's good. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. I have such a, a positive audience and positive impact, thank you guys. Those are the style of videos that I love to watch. And those are the kind of videos I want to create for my audience. Yeah, going on a yacht and doing this and doing that and going on some extravagant trip and document it. Of course, that's really cool and all, but like I am a husband. I have two kids. I have a home. We're established where we are right now. That's just not the season of life I'm in right now, right? That's the thing that I don't understand. Like I fully understand why he's deciding to not pursue that. But also at the same time, don't put, don't lump a bunch of people into this category as a husband or as a father that you can't do that type of stuff and still take your family. You absolutely can. That's actually crazy that he feels like, maybe he doesn't feel like this and I'm just reading this wrong, but he feels like because he's a husband and a father that he's strapped down. I feel like that's the very thing that's going to cause a bunch of people to be sad in the future and not get themselves married. Like me personally, I chose to marry Kayla because I want to do those things with her. I want to go travel. I want to go do things like not the other way around. I don't want to stay home. I don't want to do nothing. But I want to honor my relationship by taking it to the next step and do those things with her. And I think that's a perfectly valuable way of looking at things that he is not looking at things as. Also, saying that going on a yacht and watching entertaining videos is not fulfilling is just also wrong. I watch you. I watch Mr. Beast videos and I feel more motivated to do things than ever. And that's because of the way it's set up and the way he does entertainment stuff. Right now, I'm in build mode. I'm in work mode. I'm in grow mode. And I want to build, work, and grow mode, but he is currently unemployed. It just feels wrong to me. I don't mean to be rude to him at all, but I, I feel like I was in a, this very similar mindset just a couple months ago in this exact thing. And I just wish I could talk to the guy, really. I want to share that with you guys. I tell my editor all the time, and I tell my videographer too. Like, I don't want to just put stuff out just to put stuff out. I want quality over quantity every single day. And I know this channel is not going to be perfect right off the gate. I'm learning. I'm figuring things out. But one thing I've learned in life is progress, not perfection. So as long as I'm making progress one day at a time, I'm happy. And I hope you guys can relate to that as well. That's a W mindset for sure. Focus on quality. Focus on it for sure. Like absolutely make content that you're, in, you're proud of. But he also, I, I think he's doing great, really. I think how, how his channel is set up right now, he's really set up to succeed, at least in my opinion. I mean, I'm literally so much smaller than him. But because he got the shout out from Mr. Beast, I feel like we're still in similar stages. I mean, he's just got like 30,000 more subscribers than me. But still, I feel like we're in similar stages. And uh, I can definitely support the quality over quantity mindset. Though he needs, he does definitely... I would like to see more of him posting. Experience I have in life, business, and relationships. Those are all things that I've had really good experience in, and I have been able to overcome so many things in my life to get to the point where I am now. In my real estate company, I had months where I was doing anywhere from twenty to forty thousand dollars in gross profits. Now, granted, I had just started that company. Quick little flex there. So I had overhead costs, investment costs, employee costs. There were things behind the scenes that people didn't know. But I want to share all those details with you guys as well. Because I know like online people are sharing these things and it seems so extravagant and so epic. But I feel like people never really share the details behind it. Like how much money are you actually making at the end of the month when it's all said and done? Yeah, I just saw a $100,000 check hit your account. But how much did it cost you to get that $100,000 check? And I want to... Is he talking about, I think he's talking about YouTube now. 
and about the overhead of YouTube. I can tell you personally, if I make any money on YouTube, it's automatically reinvested and I probably spend more money on YouTube trying to grow everything than I do actually get out of it, which is definitely a good thing to look at. Even people with like, I know that there's a lot of people that do the exact same thing as me, even all the way up to 100,000 subscribers. You can't really make YouTube a job yet. You just can't. Like I work two other jobs and I got to do that if I want to keep doing YouTube and I want to get to my my goals, you know? Make this platform and these videos something where I can share the ins and outs with you guys. We recently hit 50,000 subs, which is insane. Massive I W, bro. That Massive W for I him. I am super motivated. Hopefully he doesn't just see subs though as like a thing that's going to be recurring. He needs to be focusing more on views and stuff like that because subs, obviously he's going to get subs from being in a Mr. Beast challenge. So I hope that, I hope that he's, I mean, we already, he already talked about focusing on content, but so I think he understands, but yeah. Motivated to do this and I'm going to make this happen. It's going to happen. I want this to be a timestamp where I look back at six months a year five years from now where i say yeah, like i'm going to make this happen and build a sick channel that's just gonna be amazing and that's what we're gonna do back to the unemployment thing i've not worked in my business for five months because i've been getting a bunch of other affairs in order but it's time to stop the excuses and it's time to okay this camera angle is so awkward to me i don't know why it's just so awkward like he's not looking at me and it feels zoomed in Maybe that's just me, but I keep seeing his face on the side of his face. And I'm like, this is uncomfortable. It feels like I'm not having a conversation with him. To get back to work. So for the next days, weeks. And that's what I'm saying, bro. He keeps cutting it a lot. And I feel like I'm not having a conversation with him at all. I feel like he's just speaking at me and expecting me to take stuff in. So I guess that's a that's a criticism, but also like a constructive criticism more so than anything else. Once I am going to be grinding to get this business and company back to where it needs to be, generating money, making w. a profit, and hiring people to make this company where I want it to go. And I'm gonna bring you guys along the journey. All right, so now it's time to stop milking Mr. Beast content, put in the work, and make some epic content. And I can't wait to show you guys what's in store. All right. What I wish he would have done at the start of his channel is that let's say he t he did this. He had this set up. Instead of putting his money towards eight different videos based off of Mr. Beast, what I wish he would have done... Oh, nine different. That's Sorry, that's nine. S ten different videos of making it perfectly... Honestly, you know what? His whole channel is based off of Mr. Beast at this point. These three first three videos are all all it is but everything is based off of mr beast if he tries to switch to finance it's going to be a learning curve hardcore it's going to be a fat learning curve and it's going to tank his channel is going to tank in subscribers his channel is going to tank in views and his channel is going to tank in every possible way because he's switching from the challenge niche that he's really really pushing for into something entirely separate which is finance your target market in finance is somewhere between 16 and 30 years old that's most of the people you're going to be talking to. Your target market in challenge videos is anywhere from 12 to 18. That's the honest truth. There's fast cuts, lots of vibrant thumbnails, lots of non-finance stuff that no one is going to care about when you switch to finance. It's almost as if he needs to create a brand new channel. If he would have started it and said, if he would have started with this video, I'm running out of money and not made all of these, he wouldn't have to hit this learning curve and he'd be able to grow with the subscribers. And the only people that would subscribe to him are the people that also enjoy his content rather than the people that just like Mr. Beast content. And I wish retroactively I could go back and tell him that because it really sucks for him because he's going to see a lot of negative growth, negative even though it's actually growing his channel and actually making him better as a content creator. Let's go build a business. Let's get her done. Honestly, super well-made video and I'm gonna follow this guy just because I think that in the future he's gonna become better. But with that being said, I wish that I could actually just genuinely sit down and talk to him and say, hey, yo, you almost need to just start a new channel. People are still gonna recognize your face. You could even link it and say, this is my finance channel specifically. Do not follow if you don't like finance. Because now he has 50,000 people that don't care about finance watching him. Maybe I'm wrong. I've been wrong before. But I hope this guy the best. And I hope that the finance goes well for him.